I was watching a Christmas program one year. My name is Dale Brown, I'm the pastor at Community Church in Ocean Pines. And um, I was made aware of one of the great Christmas carols that for some reason I had not paid attention to before. But I found it very moving and I found the story behind it even more moving. And it's the story behind I Heard the Bells on Christmas Day or Christmas Morn by Longfellow. The Longfellow family had had a very hard fall and beginning of Christmas season. Longfellow was married and madly in love with his wife and in an older home there were lots of candles and open flames and somehow a curtain had caught on fire and in that curtain his wife was consumed and burned to death and died. And so they expected it to be a very blue, a very sad Christmas. A Christmas that had no joy or laughter in it. And also against his wishes, their oldest son had gone off to fight in the Civil War because this carol is written, the words were written, the poem is written, as Ted reminded me, in 1863, in the middle of the Civil War. And this young man, this oldest son, was wounded and in the hospital in Washington, D.C. And Longfellow was caring for him in the hospital, caring for his children back home, grieving for the loss of his wife, with no expectation of any joy, of any happiness, of anything good to come out of this Christmas season. In fact, if you read the words of the poem, it reflects that. There is no God there, and that all of life is bad, and things are horrible, and life has no meaning or purpose, form the first part of that poem. There were no preparations made for Christmas. It was to be a somber day in the Longfellow house, but then on Christmas Day, something happened that changed that forever the bells of the city began to toll from their church bell towers. And as they tolled, they rang out admonitions of peace, joy, goodwill to men in the midst of the horrible losses of the Civil War and the horrible losses of the Longfellow family. And Longfellow says that when he heard the bells, he was reminded that God is not dead, that hope lives, and that one day our suffering and heartache and pain will be over, that God triumphs over evil. So I encourage you today to read that poem. Maybe if you have a smartphone, which I think all of us, most of us do at this time, is just Googling let it play over and over and over again, just as a word of admonition and support and strength. Casting Crowns does a wonderful version of that song, but so does the Mormon Tabernacle Choir, depending on what style of music you like. But just know that in the midst of new pandemic variants and job loss and economic downturn and physical illness and all the things that might be happening in your life, those bells ring true. God is not dead. God lives. Hope lives. Joy lives. Peace lives. And love triumphs over all. May God bless you and have a great day. Amen.